Greetings, respected viewers. I am George from Ireland, and behind me is Clarence House, that white building you can see. You can see the corner of it there. I'm not allowed to get close. You might see that chain across the road. It's a, it's a forbidden zone for lesser mortals such as myself. I'm going to try and adjust the, um, the light. I wonder if we make it darker, would it be easier to make it out? No, that's way too bright, way much darker, as dark as possible. I think the contrast is better. You see it more clearly, more like a cream colour. So that is where um, um, their Royal Highnesses, um, Prince William and Princess Kate live, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. Uh, so this building was uh, constructed starting in 1825. It was designed by John Nash, one of the most celebrated uh, architects of the early um, uh, 19th century. Um, and it was called Clarence House because the Duke of Clarence resided there, as in uh, the man who then became King William IV, Sailor Billy. Um, the Duke of Clarence is, is a cursed title, so they say, um, because those who held it, well, they've come to a sticky end. In his case, not really, but he didn't manage to have any children with his wife, but he had 10 children with his mistress, um, Dorothea Jordan, this um, Irish actress who was uh, renowned for playing breeches roles. That's to say she used to dress as a man because in the late 18th century, women had only just been allowed on stage. Very few parts were written for women. It was still highly contentious, women acting, because of that uh, biblical verse saying, the female voice is a nakedness. There were, um, and so people found it uh, very exciting to see a woman acting and to make it even more daring uh, as she wore men's clothes and wore knee breeches, sometimes showing her lower leg, which was scandalous. Anyway, so uh, she became the mistress of um, that man and they lived um, near Bushy Park. It was Ranger Bushy Park as well as various other things. They'd had a house in Richmond, which I filmed another time. But, and uh, so they had 10 children. He had none with his wife. Um, Adelaide, as in Adelaide, Australia, is named after that queen. So you can see a bit more of it. Uh, not the, ooh, I can't see very much of it because the trees haven't shed all their leaves despite it being November. It's right beside this red brick place is uh, St. James's Palace, a 16th century construction. But uh, what else about, um, about Clarence House? So uh, then he became king, moved out, obviously various other members of the royal family live there. Two of Queen Victoria's sons lived in, in Clarence House. Um, and then in the early 20th century, it was used for various other purposes, such as I think the Red Cross was there, the School of Oriental and African Studies was there briefly, then the Second World War that was evacuated to Cambridge, lest it be bombed. And then um, when uh, the Queen got married in 1947, she moved in with Prince Philip and indeed their second child, Princess Anne, uh, was born here. So um, Clarence House in the 1940s version, the cut glass accent, was pronounced Clarence Heiss. House, Heiss to rhyme with mice. That's Clarence House. There we go. Um, anyway, uh, they obviously moved out when the Queen inherited the crown in 1952, and um, the Queen Mother lived there. That is the current Queen's mother, who was also named Elizabeth, who died in 2002. The Queen's younger sister, Princess Margaret, she lived for quite a long time. And then after the Queen Mother died in 2002, same year as Princess Margaret, same month actually, um, Prince, Prince Charles moved in there, the Prince of Wales and he's, since, uh, he's in other places because he's got so many houses around the place, but Prince Harry and Prince William moved in there in the early noughties. Prince Harry's now moved out and he lives in one of the Kensington Palace apartments. Kensington Palace is about three miles west of here, and the royal family of the 17th century and through much of the 18th century spent most of their time there. It was only 1760 they actually purchased Buckingham Palace, which I'll show you in a minute, which is like a quarter of a mile from here. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's that. Kensington Palace is divided into several apartments and several of the more junior members of the royal family live there. When I say junior, it doesn't mean they're necessarily young. They're just further down the line of succession. Some of the Queen's cousins, for example. So uh, Clarence House is open to the public and indeed I've been in there. It's open in August usually, so shan't be open to this coming summer. Uh, sometimes into a bit of September. So uh, that is uh, Clarence House. Well worth looking around. You'll see a bit of the um, the taste in interior design and furniture of um, uh, Prince William and his wife, uh, Kate Middleton, and their three little children. All right, that's enough from Clarence House. And just to demonstrate what I'm talking about, here I am in um, uh, St. James's Park, so-called because St. James's Palace behind me, um, over that hedge. 
Um, it's a royal park, so no demonstrations are allowed in here. That's why state visits come through here, because the police can lawfully close down any protest. Just grab the banners. If you're welcoming the foreign head of state, that's fine, but you can't protest against them. It's a red road because it's a royal road. They allow the public to use it, though they can shut at any time. That's Buckingham Palace right down there, okay? So it gives you an idea of how close it is. They're all one beside the other. Lancaster House, Clarence House, um, St. James's Palace, Marlborough House, and the formerly Carlton House doesn't exist anymore. So there is, there's Lancaster House, there's Clarence House, there is St. James's Palace. Further down there is Marlborough House. You can't really make them out until the leaves have gone. All right, I'll switch it off now.